The more you fill up, the more it adds up. I'm just barely at halfway at $50. Our uh, gas budget, I mean, it's went up probably 50, 60 bucks, you know, a week. I want to cry. <laughs> Tears, knowing gas alone could put the brakes on summer vacation. Depends on how the gas prices go. But maybe you don't have to hold off on a road trip after all. Working with our partners at the Scripps Howard News Service, we collected one gallon samples of regular unleaded and premium fuel from eight national brands across three states. We took our samples to Paragon Laboratories, an independent certified testing facility near Detroit, to find out if all brands are created equal when it comes to detergents. One of the worst things you can do is to go from brand to brand to brand, um, getting the cheapest stuff you can find. Tony Mola of the National Institute for Automotive Service Excellence says if you repeatedly fill up with gas that doesn't have enough detergent, deposits can build up, causing your engine to burn more gas. Deposits build up, they tend to attract more deposits. So it's very much like a, uh, a process that the longer it goes untreated, the worse it becomes. Paragon performed unwashed gum tests. Same tests automakers use when spot checking to see if gas meets their standards. Scientists boiled each sample and measured the residue left behind. The more residue, the more detergent, which could equal better gas mileage. In our test of regular unleaded gas, Exxon had the highest level of additives with 20 milligrams per 100 milliliters. BP and Shell followed close behind, while Marathon, Sitgo, Pilot, and Speedway samples each had less than half the amount of detergents found in the top three brands. Obviously, the more detergent, the more efficient job it's going to do of cleaning the valves. You pay a premium for gas that's 92 or 93 octane, and in our test, Shell leads the pack with 31 milligrams, followed by BP and Exxon. We found the lowest level of additives at Speedway, Mobile, Sitgo, Marathon, and Pilot. Pilot's 8.8 .8 milligrams is three times less than Shell. But in a statement, company vice president Alan Wright told us, our gas blends meet EPA requirements. We don't put in extra. Still many drivers we talk to say quality isn't their number one factor when buying gas. Price, first and foremost. Price mainly. I mean, with these prices, it's, it's unreal. Even a few cents more didn't make it worthwhile for them. Only one said he'd be willing to pay a little bit more. Ernest's companion does a lot of traveling for work and fun. I would consider paying more, a little bit, you know, a cent or two or more a gallon. I look for good quality gas that's reasonably priced. And according to our expert, he's got the right idea, as long as Ernest doesn't switch around too much. We always recommend that you try to find one brand of gasoline that you like and sort of stick with it, or at least one location. So when hitting the road this summer, you might want to choose carefully which brand you fill up with, because there's certainly one thing we aren't choosing, the price at the pump. No, there's not a whole heck of a lot we can do about it. We're just going to have to pay. Carla Carter, 2 News works for you.